<clears throat> all right guys and girls this is a video on how to use seneca learning now one of the things that i personally don't like about seneca learning is the fact that the website name is too long and it takes a while to kind of get used to um the name of it so what you could do is you could save it to your um front page which i've done there so it's a quick link or you can use the following bitly link that i've made to do that you type in bit.ly forward slash Mr. Hader. Uh, that is a lot quicker and easier to remember than Seneca Learning. Anyway, that'll take you to the main Seneca Learning page and this is the home page. Now in the top right hand corner is a menu button. You wanna press that menu button and go to classes and assignment. Now, if we look at the classes I've subscribed now this is one of my fake accounts that I've made just to show you guys how to use it so I'm assigned to this amazing teachers class called 11q5 science higher if you're in my foundation set you'll have a foundation group my year 9 will have a year 9 group etc etc anyway you can click onto the class that you're registered with and just have a look at any assignments that are due so this in this case I am due these two electrolysis questions and it's due within seven days and the time period is there as well so if you want to start that quiz you can press start learning straight away however if you just want to get ahead of the class and ahead of the game you can go down and see which individual modules you have so in this case it's biology chemistry and physics so let's say I click on my biology link right it will load up and then I can just go to the menu on the left hand side which is this one here and press onto that and when I press onto that I can see all the topics that are within this module so let's suppose that I want to study cell biology so I open the cell biology tab and let's suppose now I want to study something specifically so what's in a cell so I'm gonna press what's in a cell go back and press start learning right so as you can see it's cell biology what's in a cell types of cell that's why i chose to uh to learn about so you scroll and you'll have some information and you can just do the quiz as you go along okay so that's how you can just kind of do things by yourself so if i go back now by pressing back i don't know how you do it on an iphone oh i hate iphones are iphones rubbish I think they are anyway so we're back at this page here we've got classes and assignments so if you press assignments it will show you what assignment you have due again exactly the same but this time you're just looking at your assignments so again you just press start learning and it's quite good because you'll have like loads of different examples there's videos there's text there's pictures that kind of explain things so here they're telling you that the anode is positive and we know that from panic um, so what element is that it's just like some starter basic question that's obviously copper you continue and then it's gonna give you some more questions and information uh, that you can just fill in and basically it, there will be information that will help you fill this in so that's one of the ways you can do it. and if you get it wrong then uh, they'll highlight it red and you can recorrect it or relearn about it or you can just carry on uh, and they'll correct it for you over time and then they'll repeat the question etc etc now it's quite a good resource I do recommend that you use it uh, if you have any questions then let me know and I can help you out in terms of how to use them but I think that's a pretty good summary and then I get the results of what you've done and it'll be good for you and good for me to see how you're doing Hope this helps. See ya.